Hey, good morning, Sax family. How you guys all doing today? I hope you had a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face, and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to the Daily Vlogs. If you're not yet subscribed, do me a favor, hit that sub button right there, and also turn on post notifications to never miss out on any videos I post here on the channel. Today's vlog is a little bit different than my normal videos. This is a educational video for those wondering what kind of equipment they need to start vlogging. Hopefully, this video can help one of you guys out there watching it. Occasionally, from time to time, I get comments from somebody in the comment section asking, Jeff, what kind of camera do you use? Chef, what kind of drones do you use? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I use for my videos, and also I'll be recommending for anybody that wants to become a content creator, a vlogger, etc., what kind of equipment to get for them as well. For those that can't afford a high-quality, decent camera, there is something that we all have that not a lot of people think about using when they want to start making videos, and honestly, that's an iPhone, Samsung, whatever phone you may have, a cell phone, is perfect as long as you film your videos vertically and not horizontally you can actually film really good videos there's been movies that have been filmed on iPhones videos that have been filmed on Samsung the camera quality especially on the newer iPhones is amazing plus I know on Apple and Samsung devices you can actually download a video editing app if you're filming on a phone and you really want to get a stabilizer one thing I do recommend is a DJI Osmo I've had this one for about two years now this is the Osmo one it's actually a really good camera stabilizer and it has a really good app that makes it really useful now moving up for those that can afford a camera and wondering Jeff what camera are you vlogging on right now this right here is a Canon G7X I'll put an image right here on the screen so you can see what the camera looks like this camera tends to go for about $700 and it's one of the most point-to-shoot cameras that vloggers actually use now if you have a hefty budget to where you can have a G7X and you also want to get a DSLR I'm gonna show you what I have in my arsenal this right here is my first ever DSLR it is a Canon and T5i. For those wondering how much do these go about, I think uh, the T5i's probably now go about anywhere from four to $500. When I used the T5i, it was a good camera, got the job done when I needed it to. But before we talk about the lens, Canon actually has a newer model of the T-Series out. I think it's the T7i. If you're looking for a DSLR camera to actually just start out with, I would recommend going to the T7 series. And if you're going to get a T7 camera, make sure you get a T7i just like I have a T5i because all the ones with the eyes at the end have a flip out screen just like my G7X here. If this was just a T5 and not the T5i, the screen would actually just look like this the whole time, wouldn't flip out, and that would be a problem. Because when you're vlogging, you want to be able to look at yourself through the LCD when you have the camera pointed on you. That's one of the many things that I personally love about my G7X. But let's talk about the lens that I have on this camera real quick. This right here is a EFS 17 to 55 millimeter lens. Uh, this is actually a very famous style lens. A lot of YouTubers have used this lens before. Now the great thing about it is that the lens itself will autofocus to make the autofocusing a lot easier on the camera. The only downside about this lens is that it makes a click 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 sound now Let's move on to my next camera This by far has been the most expensive camera I bought because of the lens if I went with a very shorter style lens on it It will probably cost me about $800 But because I had to get this specific style lens on it that I really wanted it ended up costing me about twelve to thirteen hundred dollars This right here is my Sony a6300 camera with my Rode mic because when I'm not using my g7x this DSLR becomes my main camera. If you take a look at the camera and compare it over here to my other DSLR from Canon, this camera is a lot smaller and is also a lot lighter which is a plus. The biggest difference between my Sony DSLR and my Canon DSLR is that my Sony records in 4K video quality which is one of the highest video qualities out there. Now there's only two things I really don't like about this camera but other than that I personally love it is that this camera does not have a flip out LCD as in compared to my T5i here where the LCD screen actually flips out flips to the side and you're able to just be able to look at yourself so since I've been vlogging for a few years now I'm, I'm kind of used to it and the other problem that I have with this camera is that the LCD screen on this camera is not a touch screen like most of the Canon cameras I use Besides those two things, I really do enjoy using my Sony a6300. Now moving on, we're going to take a look at my favorite thing in my whole entire camera arsenal, and that is my drones. To me, I just, I love flying drones. It's the funnest thing out there. And they also make for really cool shots within a vlog. So we're going to take a look right here, and this is a DJI Phantom 4 Advance. This drone is very powerful, has a high quality camera, and just makes really good video footage when you fly it. And we come right over here 
here and we have the DJI Mavic 1 which this drone in my opinion is my favorite over this one as much as I love the Advance 4 this drone is good especially like on really windy days but the good thing about this drone is it's very small and you can actually just take the drone put it in a pocket take it put it in a backpack instead of having to carry a giant case which is down there all the time. Don't get me wrong, I really do enjoy flying my DJI Phantom 4 Advanced Drone. It's a really great drone, except I just don't want to take it out all the time because of how big it is. It's great on windy days, so for now, I'm always going to be using this on the go when I need to go somewhere. And for those that may be new to content creation and you want to have a drone and you're looking for a cheap drone, I'd actually recommend the DJI Spark. The DJI Spark drone, I would say, is about the size of the battery here, but it records in 4K quality, I believe, and it still packs a punch when you're filming and just does make for great video. And if you're on a low budget and you can't really afford a big drone, I'd recommend getting the Spark. The last thing I have in my camera arsenal is a GoPro Hero 5. Now the great thing about GoPros is how versatile they are. You can use them literally for anything. If I want to throw my GoPro in the pool right now to get a like underwater shot, I could. If I'm vlogging in my car and I don't want to be holding a camera in my hand because a lot of you guys have yelled at me for that in the past, I do have mounts in the car where I just take the GoPro, mount it up, and then boom, it's looking at me and it's vlogging me. The only issue, in my opinion, on the GoPro Hero 5 is that the audio isn't the greatest quality. And sometimes you'll notice that in my vlogs if I cut between a shot on one of my cameras to a GoPro shot. Besides my Canon G7X, which is currently recording this video, this is the whole entire arsenal between the drone the cameras, the GoPro, the DJI Osmo, and also we tend to use Gorilla Pods a lot here on the channel when vlogging. But for all those new content creators out there and or current ones, if you found this video informal and you enjoyed it, do me a favor, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on any videos. Saxon family, if you guys enjoyed this video as well, let me know down below in the comment section. I want to do some more informal videos that help you guys not only just grow as a creator, but grow your setup for when you're making videos. Saxon family, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful for yourself. Would you guys like to see more videos like this where I'm going over things where I'm able to teach and help you guys out as well? Uh, like maybe I can make a video teaching you guys how to fly drones properly or how to film properly on a DSLR camera or how to use a DJI Osmo. Everybody already knows how to use these. These are just very simple. But if you guys need some kind of help with some kind of subject like drone flying or camera work, let me know down below in the comment section because I want to change my content up a little bit more to being able to be more informal and being able to also help you guys. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Saxon family, I love you guys. I hope you guys had a fantastic day. Get a smile on your face. Until next time, it's been your boy Jeff keeping it real. I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out and well, peace.